Hi, Linwood. I think that you're getting along pretty well in your course and in the discussion board, and I know you've um, gained some confidence. And um, But this, I, I wanted to try out some new software where I have for creating videos, and I also need to practice uh, doing a video on the discussion board. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little video for you. And some of this you may know already, so don't take offense to that. I'm just going to say some things about the discussion board and see if, if maybe some of it helps you out. Okay, so this is actually a student account in your course that you're enrolled in, IFD 298, Life Together in the United Methodist Connection. And it is not your account. It's, of course, one under my name, Lisa Buffum. But it should look pretty similar to what you see when you log into your course. Browsers kind of look a little bit different, so I'm using Internet Explorer. And I think that may be what you said you're using, too. But if it's not, then, um, then it may look just a little different. All right, so we're going to go into the discussion board. All right, this discussion, each discussion board is made up of forums. There's the word forum. And these individual posts, or I hate to, I overuse the word post, I'm sure. Uh, these individual entries are different forum entries that your instructor has prepared. And so there's one for every day, and she's done a really nice thing for you. She has set this up so that each day's new forum appears at the top rather than at the bottom. So you don't have to scroll down to find the newest one. It appears up at the top. But you do, you can, and you do have to scroll down if you want to go back and look at some answers on the other forums. So let's talk a little bit about what is found on this forum page before we go into a forum. Uh, let me pick one of these. That's, let's look at day four. How about that? Now I haven't been in here before. Oh, I don't Maybe, maybe I better go back to the top of the post and just look there because that will tell us what each column means. Okay, so the center, the over on the left, you'll find the, the title of the forum. And if you run your cursor over it, it will change to something that indicates a link. And we're going to come back to that in just a minute. In the center is a description of what's in this forum and what you're going to discuss in this forum. Then over here to the right, we have three columns, total posts, unread posts and the total number of participants. Now if you notice my cursor doesn't, I don't get a link when I go over the total posts. I don't receive a link um, when I go over the, the total participants. But when I go over the unread posts then I do receive a link, a finger that shows me that this is a link and it, I, if I click on it something will happen. Alright, we'll, we'll go back to that too. Let's go in and look inside a forum first. Well, we'll go ahead and go in and introdu introduce yourself. So you see, I haven't been in here before. Here's the title. Here's the instructions that, that I would read for the in introduce yourself forum. And then over here are the three columns. And this shows that I have a, there are 108 posts, and I have not read 108 of them. But I'm going to show you, come back out here and show you how this changes in just a little bit. So I want to enter the forum, introduce yourself. Now this is actually your forum in your class that you're in. And you can see right here is your name under author. And that shows me that you have written an introductory forum. And this is what your instructor is looking for too. And then um, this is set up right now. This view is in list view. If you go up here to the right hand corner, you can see that the list view is highlighted. And what that means is all you see are the list of threads. You don't see what's underneath the threads. You can see how many posts are unread. You can see how many total posts and how many posts are unread. So let's go into yours, for example, so I can show you how this changes. If I click right here on this thread title, that will take me in to read what you have written in your thread. All right, I scroll down and then I can see here that here's you are the one that made the thread and then three people have replied to you. Beth Galbraith, Minnie, Millie, <laughs> and Queen have all replied to you. So I would read your your uh, introduction if I wanted to reply. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I would click on reply.
wait for the box to open. Now, um, you can change this title, and I do. I'm going to go ahead and change this so we can really see. I'm going to change it to text reply. Oops. I'm trying to put my capitals in. This is a text to show where a reply appears. So after I finish typing in here, I know you've, you've gotten so you're doing this just fine. Then I click Submit. Now I might mention, if your text box does, does not look like this, if yours says your text, med, med, your text editor is off and you don't see all of these little icons that are here, you might need to um, set your website to your Internet Explorer browser to be compatible with Blackboard. It may be blocking some of the systems of Blackboard. You find that under this little flower and you click on compatibility view settings and then here it will allow you to add the website. Now I have already added sccans.edu um, and it will detect it and put it there and then you click on add and then you you apply or or submit. Of course all I have is close because I've already done this. But if that's the case then this might be something that you might need to do. And then this text box should appear. I don't know if that's something that could be happening and confusing you or not. Okay, let's say I'm writing along this reply and I can't remember what I'm replying to. If I click over here on view original post, then what you said will appear here. So I can read your introduction again and then I can, I, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, you say you're 58. Uh, my husband is 58. So that's something we have in common. I would put that up there. Um, and so then I, when I'm finished and I've typed in everything I want, I would click, go down here and click Submit. Now I think I'm going to click Save Draft and we'll show you where this appears. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Now, you would only click on Save Draft if you were in the middle of writing something and you didn't have time to finish it and you wanted to come back and finish it later. Sometimes those are a little bit hard to find, though. And it only shows up, like this, re this reply, text reply draft, only shows up in my Blackboard. It doesn't show up in anyone else's Blackboard um, until I submit. I go back in and submit. So, but here you can see that it is now threaded to your original thread, then these replies appear below it. So these are all the people that have replied to your introduction. Okay, so there is that one. There's your introductory thread. All right, I'm going to... One more thing I think I'll do is look at Beth's just to change my numbers a little bit. Let's say I want to see what Beth wrote to you. I could read this. And if I want to say something to her, I would click Reply. I'll do this so you can see where that reply ends up. Oops, I put text didn't mean to put text, I meant to put test. Oh, I still did it. <laughs> test reply to Beth. Okay, so I'm going to click Submit. Alright, so now you can see that there is your introduction, Beth's reply to you, my reply to Beth. And see how they keep indenting that's how you can tell who's replying, which one you were replying to, by the, the ones that are indented are replying to the one above. So I could close this one, for instance, and only see the three people that reply. But if I have a plus there, I can even close this, and all I see is the introduction. But if I click on the plus, which tells me there are more replies there, then I can go in and, uh, and see what all those threads are. Now you're mostly interested in the threads that are, or the replies that are written back to you. 
if you get in a discussion where someone else is replying to someone else and it doesn't really apply to you, you don't have to read that. You can just read the ones that are replied to you. Um, or if there's one that you're very interested in and you want to get in the conversation, then you reply and, and put your uh, conversation in and then you're joined into that conversation by replying to that thread. Okay, so I'm all done. I'm going to click, click OK. All right, I'm still in list view, so all I still see are, is, are the initial threads the, in a list view, in a list fashion. And there's yours, but now you can see that there are six total posts and there are two that I still have not read. So I could click on this if I wanted to read the two I have not read. And there they appear. This is called the, the collect version, the collect uh, view. I'll show you how you get to that if you'd like to do that yourself in just a little bit. So I would read those if I had read them. I, could, I would have to mark them as read. And then that wouldn't show anymore. That two wouldn't show anymore. Okay, so let's, let's go to that. Um, well, I think what I'll do now is show you tree view. So you change it to tree view up here in this right hand corner by clicking on the word tree view. This is actually my favorite view. I like the way this one looks better. Um, it just seems to make a little more sense in my head. So here you still see the list of all the threads, but now you see the little pluses next to the list. And so I'm going to go back to this one you and I were in, click on the plus and open that up and it will show me your, your introduction, all the people that have replied to you, and then here's my reply to Beth. It's all still there. Okay, let's look at this collect function. Actually, this is a very good, this might be something you would be interested in. Let's say I wanted to read everything that had been written back to your post. I would check all the boxes I wanted, and then I would click on collect. Okay, now I can see that these are backwards because there's my reply. This is a reply to Beth, so I'm going to change it to ascending order. All right, so here's yours at the top, your introduction. Uh, here's what Beth said back to you. Here's what uh, Millie said back to you. And now at this point, see how it has a dark border around it? And it also says Mark is red here versus Mark is unread here. I'm going to click on the mark as red, and then you'll see that border disappears, and it says the same thing now. So then it shows that I've read this one. It's kind of like a bookmark, um, a way to show, oh yeah, I've read that far in the book. I've read this one. I've read this post. Okay, so then I can read the one from Queen. God is good, absolutely. And let's say I wanted to reply to her. I could reply to her even here. It'll open up a little box. There, it takes a second for it to open. And I might say all the time. And then I go down to the bottom, click Submit, and then that's going to appear under her post, and I'll show you when we go back out how, where that is. All right, so now this is my, oh, we'll see. And now that's been marked. It, it has marked it for me that I've read it. So I've read all of these. I can tell because I don't have a dark border around any of them. So when I've read all the, the replies to you, oh, my phone is ringing. Then I will click OK. I'm going to let it ring, but of course it's going to be on this recording. I bet they'll try to call back. What do you want to bet? <laughs> okay. What? I'll just take it off the hook for a minute. Okay, um, um, now you can see this is where I made the reply to Queen. Remember where she said, well, let's just look at it. Where Queen said, what a blessing, God is good. And then if you click at my, my reply, you would see my reply that says all the time. OK. 
Okay. All right, let me think through. Oh, here's a good one. I showed you that you can it, you can expand just one thread and see everything, or you can click on it to collapse it. You can also, up here in the corner, you can expand all. I think it said we had something like 108 posts, unread posts, I had several unread anyway. Um, if you scroll down then you'll see each, remember they each introduce, or in, uh, indent when it's a reply. So this is a thread, these are the replies, this is the thread, these are the replies. And actually it's right here hard to tell because of that, but it's still a reply to Jim. And you can kind of tell too because they didn't change the titles. And you can do that or not do that, it doesn't matter. See, I did that, I changed the title here, but I'm still replying to your introduction. So if I wanted to, I haven't read anything about Jim. I could click on all these buttons next to all the replies that have to do with Jim's intro. Go up here and click, click, click collect. Pulls them all onto the same page. Then remember the dark border, border and this little indicator tells me I haven't read this yet. But once I've read it, I would mark it as read. Then I might go down to the next one, see his reply to, or it's Beth, see her reply to Jim. And then I can mark that one as read. And then say my phone rings, <laughs> and I have to answer it, and I'm distracted, and I stop there. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and collapse all of them. So I just see the threads again. These are just the threads. All right, when I'm all finished, I can click on Discussion Board to go back to the forums. I can also go down to the bottom and click OK. This will take me back to the forums, and I want to show you we were in the introduction forum, and we had done some reading, and now it tells me that there are 111 total posts. I have 102 I have not read, and 18 people are participating in this forum. So then you can go up each form to do that. Now, I know you were asking me if you are asking to see where your, where your replies are and your threads. The only way to really do this is to get in tree view and to expand all and look for your name as the author. So if, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. This is uh, forum two. What's a denomination for? And I see here you have created a thread. So you've an answered this question. Now if I want to see everything you had posted, well I think there is maybe a way. Yeah, it's a little hard to know though. Let me expand everything. And then I would have to go down this list looking for your name. So sometimes I can't help but wonder if you have replied to someone's post. So here, for instance, is your post, and right there, and then some replies that have been made to you, all the way down to this one. Sometimes I wonder if you've replied to posts and then that's why you're having trouble finding them again. But I don't see your name on this one, for instance, as any, anywhere that you've replied to someone. So that'll probably be a next good step for you to jump into a conversation, maybe read Jim's thoughts on the UMC and see if you have anything to respond back to him. And then look back here to see that your name's here in the authorship column. Oh, here's a search selection. Here's another thing you might be able to do. Search Linwood Reigns in Current Forum. Click on Go. And then that there that shows you your this is your post that you made in Forum 2. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but I'm assuming that because this is recorded, you can go back and watch parts of it if you need to see parts of it again. Fast forward through the parts you don't want to see again. 
Okay, so there's form two. Let's go ahead and, and close that up and look in form three. Oops, it jumped on me. There, click on the title. Okay, these are the initial threads. I find one here from you, Missionary Preacher's Organ, Biannual Conference. If I want to see what's been replied to you, I can expand this and I could um, collect those. Oh, you just sent me an email. <laughs> uh, okay, and then, but here I'm going to try that search again. Just see. We put in your name. Oh yeah, now see here it shows this is from this is your original thread and then these would be things that you've said to other people. I'm looking to see if there's a way to go back and find. Oh, it looks like you could go if you wanted to see this what it was you said or replying to you could click there and it will take you to that thread where you can see your reply. Yep, there's your reply right there. I wish I could expand this so you could see it a little bit bigger, but I have to scroll up and down. So it was Ken's comment that was about constitutions and then as you go down here's a place where you've replied and joined in the conversation and down below here's another place where you're where you've replied and joined in the conversation so I think you're doing very well there's another place so it looks to me like you're doing very well um, I feel like I've hit you with a lot in this video so I'm going to stop for there and then after you've viewed this and played around with it a little more and explored and uh, maybe located the tree view and changed it back and forth then um, why don't you send me questions if you have any other questions and I'll see if I can create you um, another email, another uh, video for you to answer those questions. Alright, so here's the most recent one. Let's look and see if you've done day eight, just for fun. Yeah, looks like you're ready to do day eight. and that will be fine. So you can check each one of those that same way. Go in day seven. Look here for your, your thread that you created where you answered that question. Oh, and something else just dawned on me. Uh, I'm gonna search for you again. Click go. Oops, I'm going to have to expand it. Looks like you definitely have to expand before you do the search. Well, I guess that's not true. I don't know for sure that you've posted anything else in this one, but we'll do another search and just make sure. And I think you asked me by email about printing. So you can pull up everything you've replied to everything you've said, pull it up into print preview, and it will allow you to print. I have to maximize that. There we go. It's going to allow me to print that page. But I won't. I'll cancel that. Okay, I'm going to stop for here. I'm going to see if you have any other questions, and then maybe I'll make you another video. All right. I think you're doing great, though. I, 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 I think you really are persevering and you're working hard and trying to understand this and I really think you're uh, doing well and your perseverance I really appreciate because that makes a difference in your ability to be able to do this, your own stick to it and this. So take care and I'll um, be looking forward to helping you again.